All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the area under the standard normal curve when we're given a z-score. All right, so you can see I've got five examples. So <clears throat> we're going to use the, the standard normal curve, the, the table, to look these values up. Now, whenever you're doing this, it's always best to go ahead and draw a picture to see what you have. It makes it easier to... Uh, find these uh, areas. So here they want us to find the area to the left of z equals negative 1.32. So we're finding the probability that z less than or equal to negative 1.32. This is what we're looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and draw a picture. So we'll just sketch it out. And, you know, on the standard normal curve, the mean is zero. Okay, that's in the middle. And we're looking for z less than negative 1.32. So here we have negative 1.32. And we're looking for this area right here to the left. <clears throat> All right, so let's go over here to the table. And we've got negative z values. Now, I don't know what kind of table you're using, <clears throat> but they have tables up there with the negative z scores on there and the positive. So <clears throat> I don't know what you're using. Uh, we'll go over here to the negative z scores because that's what we have, negative 1.32. Okay. So... And I'll show you how to look it up if all you have is the positive values also. <clears throat> all right, so when we look these values up, this table here, you can see the z-score here. Well, whenever you look up the whatever z-value you're looking for, the area is the area to the left of the z-score. Okay, it's the area to the left. So if we come down here to, and remember we're looking up negative one point. 3.2. So I come down here to negative 1.3, okay, and so that's the negative 1.3, and now we need the 2, okay, that's these values over here. See, this is negative 1.30, negative 1.31, negative 1.32, and so on. So this is what we're looking for, the negative 1.3, and then we go to the column where we have 0 0.02, and where those intersect, we get 0 0.0934, okay, 0 0.0934, and this would be your answer, <clears throat> okay. Now, let's suppose that all you had, and I'll do it just on this one, and you could do the same on the others. Let, let's suppose that uh, all you had was the positive Z values, okay? All you had was this, and you were looking up the probability that Z less than or equal to negative 1.32, okay? Well, if you remember, there's zero, there's negative 1.32, and we're looking for this area here, okay? Well, let's suppose all you had was this table, okay? Well, there's a positive 1.32 over here, and it has an area here to the right, okay? Well, this area here and this area here are the same, okay? So if we need this area, okay, if we need this area, well, when we look up 1.32, the 1.32, sorry, see, it's 0 0.9066, 0 0.9066. Now, keep in mind, that is this area here, okay? But we need this little area, 
because see this area is the same as the area to the left of negative 1.32 so we could find the area to the right of 1.32 well since this is 0 0.9066 to get this we just do 1 minus 0 0.9066 because the entire area under the curve is 1 okay and so that would give you the same thing as just looking up the negative 1.32 and finding that area to the left. Okay, so I'm not going to do that on any of the other ones, but you know, now you know how to do it if that's all you have is the positive values. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go to the next one. Okay, all right, so. We want the area to the left of z equals 2.05. So probability z less than or equal to 2.05. So once again, let's sketch the curve. Now the 2.05 is to the right of 0, so 2.05. And we're looking for the area to the left, okay, that's less than that. All right, so you know from the previous problem to the left, well, we look up 2.05. That gives us the area to the left. <clears throat> so here we have the positive z values. And whenever you look these up, once again, you see there's your z value. These values here are the area to the left. So we're looking up 2.05. So we come down here to 2.0, and then we need 5. So we come over here until we get to the column of 0 0.05, and it's where those intersect. So that would be 0 0.9798, 0 0.9798. So that's 0 0.9798, and that would be your answer. All right, so... Let's take a look at the next one. <clears throat> All right, so here we want the area to the right of z equals negative 2.15. So that's probability z is greater than negative 2.15. So let's go ahead and draw this out. There's 0. And here's negative 2.15. And we're looking for this area right here. <clears throat> okay. All right. So remember when we go to the table and we look up negative 2.15, that is going to give us this area here to the left. Okay. But we need the area to the right. So what we need to do is this is going to equal 1 minus this area. Because remember, the table is going to give us this area. So if we do 1 minus this area, that will leave us with the area to the right. Okay. All right. So let's go over here. And so we've got negative 2.15. So let's see, negative 2.1, and then we go to the column that has the 0 0.05. So that's 0 0.0158, 0 0.0158. 0 0.0158. All right, and then we punch that in our calculator, 1 minus 0 0.0158. And that's going to give us 0.9842. <clears throat> okay. Now, let me show you something else real quick. Okay. Now, notice we're looking for this area here to the right. Okay. Another way that we could do this is if we're looking for this area to the right of negative 2.15, well, if you come over here to positive 
okay this area here to the right okay well remember how we talked about earlier that the area to the right here is the same as the area to the left of negative 2.15 okay because this thing's symmetrical so this area is going to be equal to this area well then that also means that this area is equal to this area so what we could have done in, instead of looking up the negative 2.15 we could have looked up positive 2.15 okay all right so let's just do that and let me show you all right so let's go to the positive so we've got 2.15 so 2.15 and remember when we look it up that's going to give us the area to the left 2.15 and there you go and there's the 0 0.05 column and you can see that we get 2.15.9842.9842 and look what we got you see that so this area here, 0.9842. So it would give you the same thing. <clears throat> and, and that's one of the things about this. Understand that this thing's sym symmetrical about the mean and learn how to use that. But either either way works. If you understand this better, use that. If, you, if this makes more sense, use this. Okay. So now let's look at the next one. <clears throat> All right, so to the right of z equals 1.47. So probability z is greater than 1.47. Okay, so let's sketch this out. There's 0, there's 1.47. And we're looking for the area to the right. All right. So remember when we look up the 1.47, that's going to give us this area here to the left. But we need this, we need this area to the right. So we know this is going to be 1 minus whatever this area is. All right. So let's go to our table. So we've got 1.47, so there's 1.4, and then we go over here to the 7, and that's 0.9292, okay, so we've got 0.9292, so 1 minus 0.9292, and that gives us an area of 0 0.0708. Okay. And then, and I'm not going to work it all out, but remember, there's negative 1.47. So this area to the right is same as the area to the left of negative 1.47. So we could have just looked that value up and gotten this area, and we would have gotten 0 0.0708. Okay. All right, now for the last one. Get rid of all this. All right, so now we want to find the area between z equals negative 2.33 and 1.78. So that's going to be probability negative 2.33. one point seven eight all right so now let's go ahead and draw our uh, graph so let's sketch that out there's zero and we need negative two point three three and 1.78 and we are looking for this area here between them 
<clears throat> okay. Now, let's look at this. Well, if we look up the 1.78, okay, that's going to give us all this area to the left. And if we look up negative 2.33, that's going to give us that area to the left. Okay. So look at this. If we if we look up the 1.78, that's going to give us this area. Okay. And then if we subtract off the area that we get for negative 2.33, look what that leaves us with. It leaves us with just this area here. Okay. So we look up the area for 1.78 and then subtract off the negative 2.33 area and we're left with the area between the two. Okay, so let's go over here to 1.78. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's look up 1.78. So there's 1.7. We go over here to the column where we have the eight and that's 0.9625 so 0.9625 so that's 0.9625 that's that's this area here okay and now we're going to look up the negative 2.33 and subtract off that area so that's going to be minus now let's go look up the negative 2.33 Let's go to our negative z-scores, negative 2.33, there's negative 2.3, and then 0, 0.3, so that's 0 0.0099, okay, so that's 0 0.0099, and then we subtract the two, 0.9625 minus 0 0.0099, and that leaves me with an area of 0.9526 and that would be this area here between them okay so this this video ran kind of long uh, I hope it helped give me a like subscribe check out my other videos and thanks for watching